Hello everybody out there, welcome back here with the future once again to another showcase and review for everybody out there. And today I'm going to do a quick um, four mint on card showcase and review of four of the Wave 3 DC Comics Jada Toys Nano Metal Figs that I found. These were supposedly supposed to be released in January of 2018, but I did not find them until March. Um, I've never saw them on my um, toy shelves unless I'm just now noticing because I went through my local Walmart and I saw in the aisle, I was like, I don't think I have that Batman when I was just, you know, glancing. And then I looked at it and there is a new wave, wave three I found out, 12 figures here new on the back and I will read off um, the 12 figures here in a second. Um, but I picked up four new ones that I found and I'm hoping to get the others of the set of 12. And if you have not saw already, I already have Waves 1 and 2, the complete 24 single carded set. And I will put that up in the right if you have not checked that out yet. But I was hoping they'd make more of these. And of course they have. Um, these have been a big hit. I'm a huge collector of them. I have Harry Potter, WWE, Disney, and um, Street Fighter as well that I need to do a showcase and review on. And I have a complete playlist of my nano metal figs collection because i do not plan on stopping collecting these i love them just as much as like hot wheels or anything else they're just um as easy to collect as hot wheels too at only 97 cents a piece in the single carded figures um and only like 4.98 for five packs and whatnot um but i love the single carded ones and now um yeah i want to thank everybody who subscribed dropped any comments left any kind of feedback it's much appreciated here on my channel if this is your first time viewing do all that i just mentioned and now let's check out the four Wave 3 DC Comics Jada Toys Nano Metal Figs that I found recently at Walmart. Um, let's check them out. So yeah, guys, before I get going here, I do have a um, out-of-package um, Spider-Gwen here that I found at my local thrift shop, and you can see that she's quite scuffed up. Um, but I never do show these out of the packaging or any of the material or texture because I do... Um, usually keep them mint on card, but I got this one for display. You can see the paint apps are very shiny, um, and I got this one um, also not only to display, but to show off here in the videos. And you can see on the bottom um, that they put the name of the character and everything on the bottom, which is very cool. So if you were like a kid and forgot the name, you can see there it is Spider-Gwen, uh, Marvel, made in China, you can see there. Um, but yeah, 100% die-cast metal minifigs, about 1.65 inches tall. You can't beat them, 97 cents. And yeah, I got this screw out because if you hear there, you can hear that she is 100% die-cast metal. Hard to do with one hand there, but uh, I wanted to kind of like, you know, get a little bit of a... There you go, that's a nice hearing. A little bit of a noise there so you can hear that she is 100% die-cast metal. Um, but very cool. I don't have any of the Marvel ones actually and that's kind of odd for me being a big Marvel fan But the Marvel ones come on a ton of different kind of card backs And I like the DC because they're all uniform in card backs other than the like Suicide Squad ones that they released All the card backs are the same and I don't know I'm just a uniform collector like that But uh, maybe I'll start trying to pick up a lot of the Marvel ones that I see and getting a couple sets of those as well as I'm a huge Marvel fan let alone DC, but there's Spider-Gwen, very cool to add her to the collection, but the ones we are focusing on are the Wave 3 um, DC Comics um, Jada Toys Nano Metal Figs. The first one here looks more like an old school type Batman, as you can see colored here in the blue and gray, um, maybe like an early 90s comic version of Batman. It's not the animated... Um, it's not the end. I mean the classic television series Batman, which they have already done a classic 66 um, Batman television series nano metal fig um, So it looks you know similar to that in color as far as the illustration on the side there um, You can see very pointy ears on the suit though and um, Did they give him that in the figure two? not? Not really. I would say this figure it's pretty cool though still because I love the paint applications of the silver and then he's got the yellow there on the silver and the light blue. I've never really seen a Batman made in that um, color variation. But you see the Batman logo there. Um, also you have uh, DC40 Batman. There's a nice little focus. Sometimes this camera is hard to get focused so I really uh, am sorry about that. 
if I'm having any trouble here. Um, and you go to the back here and you can see the rest of the figures in the line. It says collect them all. And pretty much the same packaging as the first two waves. You got your DC logo and your Nano Metal Figs logo to the right. These are still stamped 2017. You got your Warner Brothers and DC logo and JadaToys.com logo there. But I am calling them 2018 because the release date um, was in January um, 2018. So now we look at the card backs here. And you can see the other ones from the line. Um, two Batmans. Um, you have Bizarro there, Bad Girl, Reverse Flash, Catwoman, Poison Ivy, Aquaman, Hawkman, Darkseid, The Penguin, and Doomsday. So very cool. I really want to get The Penguin. Um, that's one of the ones I've been looking for since I've noticed that this line has been launched. But uh, yeah, we get another Aquaman there. So some doubles, but cool. We get Catwoman. Um, we're getting Poison Ivy, Darkseid. Hawkman, all new figures in the line. So, um, of course, they got to put some Batmans and stuff in there. No Superman in this line, although there are some Superman villains like Bizarro and uh, Doomsday there. Um, it's kind of weird um, that they wouldn't put another Superman in here. But yeah, there's the first Batman that I picked up. And the second Batman here. Um, this is the one that threw me off because I was like, I thought, you know, I don't think I have this one. And. I did not have it because I looked on the back and it was a totally new Batman. You can see it. I don't know what version of Batman this is. As you can see, comic illustrations there to the left of uh, Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman that are on a lot of the cards. Also, 100% die cast metal up to, to the left. I didn't mention Nano Middle Fix to the right. You got your DC logo in the back, um, your blue and white wash like there in the back for the card. But Batman looking very sweet in this one. Um, probably my least favorite of the four that I picked up. I like the light blue variation of Batman better. And here's a little comparison. Like I said, I wish I would have broke out all the other Batman variations for a comparison, but there's plenty of time to get to that here in the near future. No pun intended. Um, but there's a good comparison of those two together. Getting some bad lighting there. So I'm doing this early in the morning. Um, but yeah. Very, very cool. Card backs on the back, exactly the same. And he is um, DC39, by the way. So they kept numbering them to go along because I think the last wave ended on DC38. Um, but yeah, very cool there. So two Batmans in the wave. And now one of my favorites that I picked up for sure is the opposite Superman, and that is none other then bizarro and wow do i love this um he looks absolutely tremendous on card i love the bizarro logo and just the purple and yellow that they gave him just stands out so well you can see the likenesses on these guys sometimes are not the greatest of all time but nonetheless very very cool figure um, when I saw that they made a Bizarro, I could not believe it. And, you know, Bizarro is immune to Kryptonite. You know, Kryptonite is Superman's weakness, but he's immune to it. Like, he's a, you know, total uh, polar opposite of everything that Superman is. So, very cool. Gotta love Bizarro. I was so pumped when I saw this figure. I was like, man, I have to have that one. I couldn't believe that they released it. And I had already mentioned on the back that they have him listed here. He is number DC41. Let's get a good look at him here. Like I said, I absolutely love Bizarro. One of my favorite characters in DC. Villains or heroes. And then the last one, another one of my favorite, and I mean favorite, villains in DC. Well, he's actually a villain mostly known in Superman, but it's none other than Doomsday. And wow, is this guy awesome. I mean, I thought, you know, Bizarro was awesome, but then I found Doomsday. And I was like, nope, Doomsday takes the cake. He's my favorite. He's got that chrome paint job, too, that I'm really um, drawn to. I love chrome. And man, I love the green pants on him and everything. And what a figure this guy is. 
you got to love this. If you're a DC fan, you have got to love Doomsday here. As I thought this figure was just amazing when I saw it. And I love the character choices for this third wave. But yeah, that's the last one that I found. Guys, you can see the card backs exactly the same um, as the last figure that I did. You can see there they have two different kind of illustrations, though. It's kind of weird. Like on some of them, they have a more cartoonish looking illustrated. I don't know how you can say that, but they're just different illustrations. They're not really cartoonish, but just a little more, you know, just a lot different looking illustrations there of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman than you see on these cards look like the classic, you know, illustrations from the comics. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but, you know, I don't know. I should have done some more research, maybe. But, nonetheless, I've picked up four of the twelve from the line, and I can't be any happier. I love Bizarro and Doomsday. Um, I want to thank everybody who's um, tuned in and checked this out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a like, drop a comment down below on what you think of the new wave of DC Comics Jade Toys Nano Metal Figs. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching this as always. I'm glad I got one out of the package too um, that everybody can see finally. But yeah, guys, until next time, I really appreciate it. And as always, peace out.